Saturday, October 27, 2018. From NBC News, this is Today with Janelle Jones, Peter Alexander, and Dylan Dreyer. This morning in your health, this is a good one. One of the hardest parts about being a parent is to know how to deal with your kids when they get sick. Yeah, it happens all the time. Send your kids off to school, they come home with some bug. It can be tough for doctors and for nurses, too. NBC News medical correspondent Dr. John Torres headed to Columbia University's School of Nursing to check out the new teaching tool, helping students understand what a child's symptoms are really trying to tell us. Me, Hal. Hi, Hal. I'm Dr. John. How are you doing? HAL is one of the world's most sophisticated medical simulators, designed to look and act like a five-year-old boy. From the student perspective, HAL, HAL's more than a computer. Oh, absolutely. HAL's a patient. Is that Just like a real child who isn't feeling well, HAL can blink, cry, and even talk. But it's the little robot's realistic way of being sick that teaches nurses and doctors how to communicate better and blow out with their pediatric patients. Good job. Kids can't always tell you what they're feeling. Yeah, they can't, uh, you know, fully explain where it hurts, why it hurts. Our goal is ultimately to have that correct diagnosis. In today's real life scenario, Hal has come to the clinic with a bellyache. The students and I work to figure out what's causing it. The symptoms, bellyache, vomiting, fever, pain in the lower right abdomen. What could it be? Many things. Many things. Give yeah. me some examples. Stomach virus. Yeah, stomach virus. So go over the four quadrants. Ow. For the most part. What's the big thing you're worried about the most? Appendicitis. Appendicitis. Yeah. Diagnosis, appendicitis. This time, Dr. Kelly and I go behind the testing, scenes to testing. control Hal, who is showing signs of asthma. The symptoms? Coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath. <laughs> I want you to take a little deep breath in through your nose and not too long to breathe out. That makes me cough. This is the superhero mask. I don't think I like this. And how are you feeling? Are you feeling a little better? A little bit. I don't know exactly what led up to it, but I'm thinking he has an asthma exasperation right now. Diagnosis, asthma. All right, scenario is done. Okay. Great okay. job, students. Mm. You really are doing a great job. A lesson in better communication that almost literally comes to life. Has Hal ever set up by himself? No. Okay. If he does, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Agreed, those mannequins are a little terrifying. Well, right? but, but for a good cause, I guess. Dr. Torres is with us this morning. Yeah, yeah. very realistic, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, clearly. So help us out here. A lot of parents were parents of young kids here. Your kids come home, they've got something going on. You're trying to figure it out. So how do we decode when you see what's is a fever or some other ailment they may be dealing with. And that's the hardest part because kids can take high fevers. Adults would put us in bed all day and sometimes they run around and you touch them you're like, ow, oh, they're warm. So kind of the things to look at, you know, is that fever controllable with medicine? Can Do fever reducers work? The acetaminophen, the ibuprofen type of thing? Mm -hmm. Are they hydrated? You want to make sure they keep hydrated because once they stop drinking and they get dehydrated, that's when they get in trouble. Yeah. And has that fever only lasted 24 to 48 hours? Fever actually helps us fight infections until it gets to a certain point, then it starts fighting against us. And then for whatever may be ailing your kids, what are some overall tips for decoding your child's symptoms? What would so you say? So one of the biggest things is they're going to tell you everything hurts. So tell them with one finger, point to one space that it hurts mm -hmm. the most because right. they'll tell you again, my hair hurts. I mean, everything I so have, true. everything I have there hurts. Uh, pay attention to what's going on and any kind of rapid changes they might have. And with modern technology, take pictures. You can always send pictures. Some doctors will take pictures or nurses. Other ones say, you know, bring it in, show me the picture, especially of a rash because those constantly change mm -hmm. and make sure you have pictures as it evolves because that helps us a lot. Good information this morning. Dr. Torres, thank you. you nice to see you. Thanks, doctor.